thought we'd add a little bit more of a challenge to the groundhog hunt and use an 1858 black powder cap and ball pistol. I've been looking forward to coming out and trying out some groundhog hunting with my black powder pistol and we are ready to go. We'll see what happens. A trick that I like to use with my percussion caps is when I'm hunting, I always put some cotton and a rag inside the tin. And what this does, it cuts down the noise. If you listen to that rattling, that gets annoying when you're walking through the woods. But if you add the cotton or a rag to it or both, you notice that it quiets it down quite a bit. I'm just sitting here in my ground blind, groundhog coming. I looked up and here come three bucks running across my orchard. Stopped at my pear tree and gave him the pear tree the devil. I think the other two bucks went on in behind the barn. I just mowed my hay fields. Thought I'd come out here and do a little groundhog hunting in my orchard and try to control the number of groundhogs. I'm not out here to annihilate the groundhogs. They do need to be controlled. If they go unchecked, you end up with no fruit and too many groundhogs or vice versa. You don't want to wipe them out, but you do want to control the numbers. Many people that don't live on farms or don't hunt sometimes don't understand that man is a calculating predator. He makes decisions on the carrying capacity of the land. Everything you do has to have balance. Man, did that thing put out the smoke or what? I almost couldn't breathe in this little blind that I'm in. 
I mean, as soon as I pulled the trigger, the whole blind just filled up with smoke. 